Hey everyone, it's Tremia and Miss Maisie. And we are just sitting in the car. Um, we're running errands and Dwayne had to run in and get a few things. And sometimes it's just easiest to sit in the car and to give Dwayne a break of having to get out a wheelchair and get my oxygen on the wheelchair, get my backpack and you know, then push me all the way everywhere. Um, so I decided just to sit and enjoy some sunshine. I have on my sunglasses and um, I was wanting to speak about my last video. Um, it was of me getting the ketamine infusions and those, I think I pretty well described amongst being in sedation um, what was going on um, the ketamine infusions are given to me when I go into a pain crisis and that is meaning I'm at a level 10 and pain medication is not going to get it under control um, by upping my doses um, taking shots it's it's not working and so to get me out of the pain crisis um, comes in the ketamine infusions and that's done in a hospital setting and um, my doctor comes in and uh, tells the nurse the rate how long and this time we went for four hours each infusion and there's three days of them um, prior I had received two rounds of infusions and there were two and a half hours to three hours and the effects of it were lasting three to four months and then I would go into another pain crisis so this time around he suggested we try four hours and um, see how long the effects of it last. Um, the side effects of the ketamine, oh man, they really put me down this time. That four hours, three days in a row, it was hard. I would felt like I had went through my extensive chemotherapy in my stem cell transplants to get me down to zero. I felt like that for the past week. Um, just lethargic, sick, just uh, not well. Um, but, you know, it did get my pain under control. So it was effective. The last week wasn't pleasant. It usually just lasted like two days, three days. This time it went for a good seven, if not eight days. And it still might, um, I still might get really nauseous feeling. Um, and it's coming and going, it's just not staying. So the ketamine, it's very serious. It's controversial. Um, I actually have three pain management doctors that work together. Um, my main pain management doctor handles my daily medications and my pain pump. Um, the feels, uh, the feels of the medication and the upkeep of it. Um, my second pain management doctor he does my procedures like my radio frequencies, rhizotomies, um, epidural injections, anything like that. He handles that. And then my third pain management doctor now, um, I'm referred to him when I'm in the pain crisis and he does the ketamine infusions. Some say ketamine, some say ketamine. I know I'm going back and forth. Um, but it's controversial because 
my pain doctor that handles my radio frequencies he he said he doesn't believe in them but he sees that they work for me and he's happy that they work for me um you know but as a doctor he wouldn't he wouldn't do them and um and I know there's more doctors that are against it and doctors that are, you know, that understand it. And I'm thankful that my doctor gave me a chance. You know, it seems like everything's been pulled out of, out of the bag. And, you know, I've got a pain pump. I got a neurostimulator. I have everything. And... Then you go into pain crisis, and it's just like, what now? You know, what can I do? And they pull something else out. Thank God they have that never-ending bag of something. And, um, you know, and he said, let's try this. And I'm thankful that he was willing to give, let me go try it. And I'm so thankful that it works, because it definitely takes me from a level 10 I'm probably between a five and six right now, um, but that's due to my own fault. I kind of pulled um, my right side of my lower back. Uh, me and Miss Maisie were in training and we were playing around and uh, I was trying to teach her to dance <laughs> and we got to wiggling just a little too much. I should not have been doing it. But when this, it's bad, when this ketamine infusion gets my pain level down, I want to do things, and Dwayne always says, Tremia, slow down, don't overdo it, you know, just, and I've, and this time I was really watching myself, and I didn't think, because I was sitting in my wheelchair and I just wiggled my arms back and forth to get her to try to wiggle her body and I pulled my back. So, ketamine, it really helps for me. Um, um, I, you know, it's something to research if you are in need of of if you're in a pain crisis and you know your medication isn't working and you're already at high doses uh, in this it takes it resets your pain receptors and therefore you get to take lower dose of medication so the plus to it is you know I'm in less pain in my regular dose of pain medicine um, that I was on before I was even in pain crisis, just on a daily basis, um, it went down by, I think, 25%, 30%. And so I'm at a lower dose of pain medication. So the next time I'm in a pain crisis maybe we just can up my pain medication for a little bit because I have a higher you know have a I can go higher because um, I'm not already at a high dose and you know it might work without having to do the infusions but that is a big plus I mean to me it's amazing that you can go down on your pain you know you get the the big plus have gone down on your pain medication and you know it's just it's just amazing to me because you know we're on that level our body tolerates that level and um, and you actually can lower it without having to go through any withdrawal symptoms without any pain without anything like that I mean it's been a good thing for me. Okay, I'll let you guys go and I'll see you in the next video.